When Trump loses and either goes to jail, flees the country, or one of his fans shoots him in the ear. What? <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> what will Fox do next? Who will be the next Trump? Johnny Donuts? Childless cat ladies. Teddy Cruz? Freedom! It's difficult to say, but I know this. Any credibility Fox might have had disappeared with Fat Donnie's fading cognitive state. Frack, frack, frack like a duck. Fox News instead morphed into a gaggle of sad little boys sucking their thumbs, wondering what went wrong. Madison Kelly didn't like the president, and they didn't think he deserved the job, or they didn't think he was worthy of the job, and they went out of his way to make sure a lot of the things they asked him to do that they didn't like never got done. McMaster would be frustrated because he couldn't get their attention, and he would say, it's not your job to reign in the president. It's your job to do what the president wants. We don't take an oath to a king, or a queen, or to a tyrant, or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. And then he obviously has frustration. And I could absolutely see him going out, you know what? It would be great to have German generals that actually do what we ask them to do, knowing that's a third, uh, maybe not fully, un uh, fully being cognizant of the third rail of German generals who are Nazis. That's Brian Kilmeade trying to defend Trump's attraction to Nazi generals. I mean, you just saw him do it. It was both disgusting and sad. But that's the entire Fox News experience. Kilmeade is a hack of the highest order, still carrying Trump's water like the little cuckold he is. And as pathetic as he is, he has not yet bottomed out. Look, Donald Trump left office with the worst jobs record since Herbert Hoover. Well, uh, this administration has created the most jobs of any modern... Well, let's remember, though, before the pandemic, right? right? It was before the pandemic that there was a manufacturing recession under Trump. Right now, more factories are being built in America than... Any, any time since Ms. before Mr. I was Mayor, born. The, now the, look, the, the world experienced inflation. Reset, the manufacturing the world, recession the world, is in the your Trump head. Manufacturing it never recession. happened. The Trump it never manufacturing... Happened. Oh yeah, okay, look it up on PolitiFact. Look up I, the well, fact check. And, let's do that. And then tell me, and maybe you can, can bring I it on screen you, can right I ask now. You this? Uh, because, because there was Michigan a Trump manufacturing recession. Mr. Mayor, uh, Michigan matters a lot. Look it up. That's why you're there, right? How much did the EV... How much did the EV mandate hurt the, uh, the Kamala Harris quest to be the next president? Well, first of all, the statement that there is an EV mandate is a lie. Uh, you can buy a gas car right now if you want one. You can buy an EV really? car if, uh, EV if you want one, and we'll help make it cheaper, uh, right. as long as you want. Now, our goal with, uh, with the tax supports, and by the way, you, you admit, right, that you can buy a gas car if you want right now, which means by definition but, there's but, no mandate. But if he right? has a goal, by 2035, California's gone. By 2035, New York's gone. And do you get but, an but incentive, Mr. You admit Mr. Mayor. that you don't have to, Mi we're not making you buy this Mi car or Mr. that car. Right? Now, our, now, now the goal, and I gotta be careful, right, because I, I can't get into the administration side, but what I'll say is, the goal has been to be about half and half by the end of the decade. If Here's you had your thing. druthers, thing if you had your American, how about Mayor Especially Pete? every Michigander this. needs to hear. Mr. Mayor, if you had your hey, druthers, was this would there really be important? combustion engines? If I had my druthers, every car would be made in America. Now, we know that EV technology is coming. Whether people are ready for it or not, uh, it is coming. It's happening around the world. And Donald right. Trump allowed China to take the lead on EVs. I want those EVs made in America. When I are think about Howard County, Indiana, allowing China, uh, which I, where, is where I started my first that campaign. You guys won't let them uh, mine. You will not let them mine in Minnesota where the governor wants to be hey, let's vice be, president no, hey, let's in be, order let's to be get the rare earth necessary right to uh, make no, let's, the batteries. Let's be very clear. Sorry, is this an interview or a debate? Can I at least finish Well, the I sentence? just can't let you throw out fallacies. It's important. Can I at least, uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, name one statement that I just made that you would say is factually well, inaccurate. The statement you just made that Donald Trump let oh, China take the lead? You have a guy, an American... You don't think China named, took the lead in EVs under Donald uh, Trump? I, I would say that, number one, he didn't want a mandate to tilt the playing field. If somebody wants an EV, they should be able to get it, not get a rebate if they buy it. And if it. somebody wants an EV, they can get it. And if somebody wants a gas car, they can get it. But you get it. But what we're doing is we're making sure more of those are built in the U.S. And here's 30 seconds, right now. 30 seconds left. Uh, how, do you you convince, threat, how do you convince 100,000 right, so, uncommitted... Wow, that was painful to watch, but as predictable as a Trump rally. Donald Trump will never go out there and say that his fellow citizens should be censored or silenced for disagreeing with him. So CBS gets a license, and the license is based on honesty. I think they have to take their license away. I think ABC took a big hit last night. They ought to take away their license for the way they did that. The Supreme Court, it should be illegal what happens. These people are, should be put in jail the way they talk about it our judges and our justices. To get me, somebody would have to shoot through the fake news. And I don't mind that so much. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. 
and I think they're the big, and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military. Police tear gassed a crowd of protesters in Lafayette Square before Trump then walked to this nearby church for a photo op with the Bible. I want to get a law passed. You burn an American flag, you go to jail for one year. Got to do it. We got to do it. They say, sir, that's unconstitutional. We'll make it constitutional. We're going to make it constitutional. Couple things about that interview. Kill me just like the rest of the Fox pussies who mimic Trump mispronouncing Kamala. Hurt the, uh, the Kamala Harris quest to be the next president. They know the right way to say Kamala, but it's the racist game, like calling Obama Hussein Obama. That's no accident. What did Barack Hussein Obama know? And Fox News is nothing but a bunch of weak, racist redneck incels with a sofa, some lights, and a country to destroy. They even do the name thing with Buddha Judge, calling him mayor when it should be Mr. Secretary. But Pete doesn't care about that. Not while he's schooling Kilmead on his made-up Trump facts about the economy. The statement you just made that Donald Trump let oh, China take the lead? You have a guy, an American... You don't think China took the lead in EVs under Donald right. Trump? And the thing about EV cars? Okay, they're new. And no, it's not always easy to find places to charge them. But... Despite Fox and Trump and the rest of these ignorant pygmies, climate change is real, and the internal combustion engine is at the heart of it. Remember, what I'm telling you right now, what we're looking at right now in the last week, what we're preparing for with Milton, this is what we are now facing with global average temperatures a little over one degree Celsius higher than the pre-industrial average. One. Imagine what it will look like when we reach two degrees, twice as bad, or three, or four. That is the world Donald Trump would push us towards faster if he returns to the White House. Not that he cares. He thinks it would be good for real estate values. And when I hear these people talking about global warming, that's the global warming you have to worry about. Not that the ocean's going to rise in 400 years, an eighth of an inch, and you'll have more seafront property, right, if that happens. I said, is that good or bad? I said, isn't that a good thing? If I have a little property on the ocean, I have a little bit more property. I have a little bit more ocean. OK, I, I, every time I play this clip, we just got to stop for one second. Think about that for give it 10 seconds of your brain power. If the oceans rise, do you have more beachfront property? Does that make sense? Fox News has allowed Trump to lie ad nauseum. They've allowed him to lie about January the 6th, Ukraine, the border, and the economy, where Fat Donnie claimed to have the best ever, except for every metric on how you rate an economy, like GDP, they all favored Biden, Obama, and Clinton. Fox News simply put, lies for Trump. I might come, I came up with that name because I come up with a lot of good names. Do you see Maduro, Venezuela, though it's a Unbelievable. is going to the border, doing a, a show, Sean Hannity, good man, Sean Hannity. I Pete Buttigieg would make a tremendous president. Good man, Buttigieg, Buttigieg, edge. they say edge, edge. He's got a great chance, doesn't he? He'll be great, he'll be great. Representing us against President Xi of China, that'll be great. That'll be great. I want to be in that room. I want to watch that one. There's your MAGA homophobia right there. Trump thinks that Buddha judge is weak. But of course, Pete served in Afghanistan while Trump was assaulting women and stealing from subcontractors. Why are you forcing your lifestyle over on me? Who's forcing you to be gay? Uh, Joe Biden and his crew. Joe Biden's forcing you to be gay? No, not forcing me. I, make sure you get that right. I ain't gay and I ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? Republicans won't vote for a gay patriot, but they will vote for a rapist pedophile. E.T. discovered this footage in our archive, which we provided to CBS News. Soon. Thursday night. You're going up the escalator? I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you believe it? Trump faced a jury and was forced to pay $100 million to a woman he raped, and most recently was discovered to have been a very close friend of Epstein while he was raping children. And of course, Trump flew to Epstein Island, and their outstanding accusations he raped young girls as well. What, what, what I'm saying is... You think Donald Trump is uh, anti-Semitic? He's definitely welcomed anti-Semites. Uh, he we should go tell his daughter who's Jewish. welcomed them to Mar-a-Lago and uh, made excuses for them uh, in, in Charlottesville. You really think he's yeah. anti-Semitic? Okay, Brian, I'll give you the proof. This is a guy Buddha Judge was talking about, Nick Fuentes. He was invited and went to a dinner with Trump at Mar-a-Lago. There is an occult element at the high levels of society and specifically among the Jews. And then of course this. Very fine people on both sides. Jews will not replace us. So Fox News was fined nearly a billion dollars for the voting machine lies. The 2020 presidential election was not fair. But have they learned their lesson? 
It's possible, or maybe it's just money. When the fat orange one lies, this time they rush in to correct it. At the very beginning, you heard the former president talk about a stolen election. And while he may feel a certain way, the facts remain Joe Biden was declared the winner with 51% of the vote. That's all you really need to know about Fox. It's about money. They don't care about the truth. Sorry, is this an interview or a debate? Can I at least finish well, the I sentence? Just, bottom line, Trump's attack on America from COVID to the insurrection couldn't have happened without the support of Fox News. And I heard the scientists say the other day that when a man votes for a woman, he actually transitions into a woman. And the lesson here, well, Maya Angelou said it best. When they tell you who they are, believe them. Damn right. Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. It's not fair. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. Suck my fat one. This is not a normal election. Who's with me? Yes! Tick tock, mother. They're eating the dogs. <laughs> this isn't their Republican Party anymore. Frack, frack. Practice. Trust me. Shut the f up, down. Who's with me? Oh, yeah, the lie. Indictable. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I'm allowing this freak show to continue. I don't want to talk about this stuff. Am I wrong? Yes! Tick-tock! You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> I think he's crazy. I'm Chip Franklin.